Here, Here we, we go. go. Welcome to Pet Boutique. Hi. Look at my dog. I'm oh, sorry? My dog? Look at my dog. Does she look happy to you? Does she look... Happy? Happy? Oh, it's not a trick question. Does this dog here look happy to you? Well, I, she looks healthy. Healthy? I said happy. Oh, oh, I see. Are we going to do that I might be a little deaf thing? Like I might be a little off kind of vibe? Ma'am, is there something I can help you with? Uh-huh. Sure. I bought this bag of treats here a week ago today. Okay. Read the bag. Uh, puppy yums. No, 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 no. That part. There. Makes your, your dog, dog happy. 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 Yes. Look at the dog. Ma'am, I don't... Look at the goddamn dog! Does that dog look happy to you? I, 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 I don't know. You don't know? You don't know. Oh, pardon me. Forgive. I thought I was in a pet store, not an idiot store. Ma'am, uh, how can I make you happy? I I'm happy! Ma'am! It is my dog that is clearly unhappy. Ma'am, please. Shh. Shh. Stop it. I want you to make this dog here happy. Uh, now. All, all right. Like the bag uh, says. Yeah, okay, all right, all Come right. Come on. Uh, Go. Uh, 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 hey, there. Well, hello, there. Hello, sweetie. Ew. Hey. Shame on you. How dare you patronize my dog that way. That's it. I'm turning you into the better pet police. You clearly do not give a rat's ass about the mental or emotional well-being of my dog. That's it. I forgot my dog. You're supposed to be my agent. But you ain't stepping up to the plate. You ain't out there hustling for me. I mean, look at me. Look at me. I got it. You know, I got heat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got heat. All my friends are like, damn, Trent, you should be on the TV and the movies or some shit. I'm like, what can I do? Agent don't hustle. You know, all my boys are like, you do that Tom Cruise shit, that, that Jamie Foxx or some shit, but I need you to do your job. And you just ain't, huh? you just shiftless or lazy or some shit. You feel me? Yes, yes I do. No, I mean, I mean, be getting all up in your grill now. I mean, be getting all up on your grill. I'm just breaking it down for you. I'm breaking it down. Cause I know you feel me. Cause you a sister. You know, a sister. Um, is there anything else you wanted to add? No, no, no. That's all. That's all for now. Good. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for your obviously well thought out and articulate remarks, and um. Thank you for reminding me that I'm black, because sometimes it just slips my mind. And uh, thank you for using the word shit so many times. It is such a lovely, lovely word, and we seldom get to hear it in the office, and it just brightens up the whole place. So thanks for that, Trent. What I wanted to say is that um, we agreed to represent you as a favor to your fiance, who we just adore. She's one of our favorites. She's funny. She's pretty. And we hope she's going to do great in this industry. What she did in her past life to end up engaged with someone like you? Ooh, must have been really, really bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, um, let me finish breaking it down to you here, Trent. You seem to be suffering from a bizarre, and as far as I can tell, totally unfounded delusion that you're some sort of actor. When the truth of the matter is, you wouldn't know acting if it walked up to you, shook your hand, and said, hello, my name is acting. You're in serious trouble. Selling tainted meth? Poisoning those kids? Now that's bad stuff, man. Why don't you let me help you? And how are you gonna help me? Well, you tell me how everything really went down. I tell the DA that you were cooperative. Maybe it cut you a deal. Shorten your sentence. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck yourself, Officer Friendly? <laughs> Officer Friendly. <laughs> hey, all right, you got me. What can I say? Hey, don't you remember Hector Gonzalez? The North Side Mangler that chopped up all those hookers? Well, I put him away. And can you believe that we're still friends? Amazing. And Joe Vitabro, that crazy son of a bitch that bit those boys to death. 
bit them to death. I put them away for life. And I still get a card every Christmas. Is there a point to this pig? Yes. You're going to prison. You know it. I know it. Your ghetto lawyer knows it. And when you get there, my friends, they'll be waiting. And if they hear that you weren't friendly with me, I guarantee they're going to mess your sorry ass up. They're going to split your head open and peel that smug face right off of your goddamn skull. And then, well, that's when they're gonna get real nasty. Do you understand me? Yeah, I hear you. Good. <laughs> I'm glad we're gonna be friends. play a little game called Answer My Damn Question. Tell the truth, you walk out here in one piece. Lie to me and you have to deal with Mr. Gunn. Say hello to Mr. Gunn, John. <sighs> Say hello to Mr. Gunn. Hello, oh, Mr. Mr. Gunn. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I think he likes you, which is good, because when Mr. Gunn doesn't like someone, he tends to blow off the top of their goddamn skulls. <laughs> Do you understand me? Uh-huh. Where's Dutch? I don't know. Eh, wrong answer. Mr. Gunn thinks you're lying. <laughs> Why are you lying to Mr. Gunn, John? Mayor, you keep lying to me. You won't even make it to trial. Okay, don't uh, say anything, John. I will come to your cell one night, Mayor. And I swear to God, I will bust your fucking skull right open. What? Are you fucking insane? Are you, are you threatening to kill my client? I, have you forgotten that there's a video camera behind that glass? I know there's a camera behind the glass, and I also know that sometimes it doesn't get turned on. Okay, this interview is over, and by the time I'm done with you, Stoats, so's your career. My career? Yeah. My fucking career. You gotta be kidding me. Take it! You can have it! 22 years of staring at monsters like your fucking client here. 22 years of their dead fucking eyes and their obnoxious little smirks and their trails of blood and death and fucking ruined lives. You know what that does to your insides? Huh? A lifetime of zipping up kids in bags. Not being able to look their parents in their face. Of listening to a father sob like a fucking baby. Monsters like your client here has flushed out anything decent and human out of my life. All I got is hate. I got no family, I got no friends, so you want to take away my job, take it the fuck away, I beg you. But remember this, before I'm through, he is fucking dead. DEAD! You understand me? So whatever you tell, whatever you do, I'm gonna fucking kill him. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. Mother Who is though? Mm. Who is that? Oh, sweetheart, that is <laughs> Antonio, don't even think about it, girl, because he has trouble with a capital T. Darling, trouble is my middle name. Oh. Uh. Lucky, my middle name is Marvin.